ろしくお願いしますでえー、っとカールさんも、えー、っと頑張ってくださいねよろしくお願いしますオキドキブレッドンクッキーレッツゴーあっホッキーサウンドズオッケーいやでさんやさんですよ。Okay, good. Okay, anyway, so first match is going to be a very interesting one. None other than Cal versus Marone. So Cal, who is rocking another handle than、uh, usual. So right now it's、uh, Chikan. Chikan Buchi Gide Ojisan. Ojisan じゃないけど So, anyways,、uh, definitely looking forward to both of their performance right there. Marone. Ooh, tried to bait the burst, but Cal actually. Sensing, ooh, that was an unfortunate jump right there from Cal, but you know what, stuff happens. So, good stuff from Cal,、uh, from、uh, Maron actually, to be able to bait the burst.、Uh, tried to bait the burst, but unfortunately, couldn't bait it, but still、uh, was quite lucky on,、uh, <laughs> on his throw of the fireball right there. Landed,、uh, Cal landed straight on it, which、uh, helps him to seal the deal for the first round. That being said, this is the first round, and Cal is looking pretty good right now, unfortunately for him. He exploded, but Marone, man, he committed to、um, oh, to a hit. Ooh! Oh, Lord! Nope, nope, no, no food or dark for you, sir. That was a very, very, very gutsy,、um, gutsy super temper there from Kel, which actually、uh, succeeded. So, very nice、uh, thing for him. We have one round of peace. Let's see how this pans out. Very good.、Um, just checking the bracket real quick, just to make sure that everything is going fine. And everything is going fine. Anyways, here we go with Marone and the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus indeed. Wow. Start of the uh, post. Uh, ooh, that was a. That was so freaking next level from Cal. Unfortunately, he got hit by the tap dust. I think Marone is gonna be able to seal the deal. He drops the combo, but still goes for the tap dust at the end and wins the first match. Very, very nicely, by the way. Good stuff. Merci à Kito pour le,、euh, le subprime, by the way.、Hein. Ça fait très plaisir, gros. Merci beaucoup. Ça fait toujours plaisir. 39 mois, mon dieu. Mon dieu, mais ça va faire combien de temps <rire> Faut que je stream plus souvent, d'ailleurs.、Ah, je stream pas assez.、Hein. Je streamerai la prochaine fois. Je promets, je me remettrai à streamer、euh, éventuellement. Je sais plus quand, je sais pas quand, mais je promets. That being said, here we go with Cal and the、uh, burst. The forceful burst upon Marone. We are back in the neutral, and Cal just got grabbed right there. Kai is a grappler, we all know this. We go with the stun edge.、Uh, yeah, trying to force Cal to jump and punish him on his way down. Marone's、uh, zoning game is actually looking very nice. That was a sick fuzzy, by the way. Big six p i e r right there from Cal, though, he's gonna get some damage in. Goes for the save jump a little bit too far to、uh, get it to connect. And again, Maron with the tap dust for the finish. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Let's drop in D.、Uh, just one second, guys.、Ooh. Here we go.、Uh, yeah, I just wanted to check something real quick. Sacred Age! Indeed! Good stuff from Maron. Man, Maron already up 2 0, man. That is pretty good for him, not going to lie. Let's see if Cal can actually manage to bring it back. Okay, he's going all in right now. His blood gauge, though, is going to pop. Yes, he is. Yeah, this is going to be very, very big for Maron, who goes straight for a fully charged dust. This is going to be pretty big. Look at the damage, man. All of his life bar already. Already gone. That was pretty pretty good from Marant. He's on match point. Let's see if he can seal the deal. A big counter right there from Cal. He's gonna get the wall break. The boom! Cal, ooh, goes straight for the Beyblade. But that, then again, look at his yeah, blood gauge. He needs to be careful. He's been exploding the lift and right. And he should be able to seal the deal. Nice. Go straight for the overdrive for the overkill, by the way. <laughs> Thankfully for、uh, Maron, he did not get hit by the full animation. Ah, <laughs>、uh, go straight for the start of the round with the wild assault, man. But this time around, Maron, aware of it, goes straight for a jump in order to make it whip and punishes it accordingly. 
eventually dealing a, a wall break should have the yeah oh lord that grab attempt but cal was uh, right to sniff it out tried to go for the command grab though there we go with the secret edge well not the secret edge the uh stun, stun edge <clears throat> oh, back to the neutral cal desperately trying to get the hit in okay no stun dipper oh and the stun dipper indeed should get the roman caps on this should be it good stuff from maroon Seals it very, very nicely right at the end. Sends Cal to the loop. One second, guys. Huh? Just want to get I'm upsetting Darius. Please, uh, sorry, I'm gonna say to every every participant, please respect the order. So first player on the left, right player on the right. Okay. Oh, but wait, am I dumb? What the hell? Oh, what the hell? My bad, my bad. We see Johnny is playing Saul. Okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I was just dumb. ごめんなさい。順番はまあ、チャットの方に、え、追加アドバイスを送るところなんですけど、薄いジョニーがまさかソロを今やってる。うん、知らなかった。Yeah, because usually Usui Johnny is the one who plays Johnny, so I was 100% sure that he was uh the one on the the on the right basically, but apparently it's not the case. Okay, okay, that's cool. So Usui Johnny uh trying a salt out so let give me I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background for Usui Johnny. Usui Johnny used to be called Usui Buri. And Buri is basically the uh nickname, the Japanese nickname for Bridget. And uh basically Usui Buri at the time, so Usui Johnny, uh used to main Bridget. He was very good with her by the way. Uh but then when Johnny came out, he changed his handle to Usui Johnny. And he made he actually had very good results with Johnny as well. So he uh main Johnny uh from that point on. But today, he's actually trying his hand with Sol, which is very surprising. Which is the reason why I thought that they perhaps, um, they, they, um, they didn't respect the order of, of, of first player on the left and second player on the, on the right. So that's the reason why I was like, well, oh, okay, let me send them a message to tell them exactly what, what's going on. And they shouldn't do it for the next, uh, the next time. But apparently, no, it, it was fine. It was, um, uh, they respected it. It's just that Usui Johnny is trying salt, which is very surprising by the way. And uh, speaking of which, here we go with H2O rocking the main character of Usui Johnny, uh, giving him a bit of a spanking on that second round. That being said, there is one round apiece. Let's see if Usui Johnny is going to get uh, is going to get defeated by his own main character. We shall see. Ooh, okay, that was a unfortunate uh, timing for the punish. Oh, nice grab right there from it. Still a very gutsy one at that. He uh, almost got hit by a um, by a uh, by a far two uh, by a forest. Okay, and, uh, it's still trying to yeah push to see Johnny in the corner. Ooh, and here we go with the wake up overdrive. That being said. Things are looking pretty dire for Usui Johnny. He's in the corner. Oh, almost made his way out too. No DP attempt right there from Usui Johnny. I was, I swear to God, I thought he was gonna go for it. And this should be enough to seal the deal. And perhaps we will see a character change from Usui Johnny, who might not want to stick with Saul after this uh, unfortunate result. And he actually decides to. Okay. 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 So one more chance for Usui Johnny if he wants to uh, change character. If he loses, by the way. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully for him, everything is going to go well. Very nice. Wow. Vortex, uh, in a Vortex to catch the backdash. I don't know if it was intentional, but that was definitely cool. There we go with the Fafnir and the big close S counter hit. This will, this is going to do a ton of damage. It's not going to kill, is it? Wait, it's going to kill. Oh no. Oh no, it's not. Okay, okay, my bad. Uh, my bad. Okay, nice. Jumping H, uh, P right there. A HS from, uh, from Usui Johnny gets the first round. Let's see if he can seal the deal. Man, Usui Johnny not afraid to just run through and press some buttons, man. Let's go with the jump in. 
see Johnny with the corner positioning, trying desperately to catch H2 or pressing some buttons or trying to jump to chicken jump. Ooh, that bait on the burst though. This is gonna do a lot of damage. We go with the bandit bringer, Johnny deciding to keep his burst gauge. And rightfully so. Let's see if H2 will... Ooh! Oh lord! Big misfine right there. Almost caught Johnny in the air. Oh no! That was definitely a input error. That was definitely an input error. Ooh! And the grab! And this should do with the RC extension straight into the Tyrant Race! Good stuff for Musi Johnny. Okay, puts one on the board. We have a uh, we have a match. We have a we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. And H2 is sticking with Johnny as well. I do not believe he played Johnny last time and well during the last uh, Burger Cup tournament. But I cannot for the life of me remember who he played. But yeah, that being said, he did manage to get the first match, so it's definitely not totally one-sided. And uh, yeah, just I say this. Look at this. Yeah. Gonna go with the wall break. Also the bonus as well. Wow, what is this fuzzy? Okay, no fuzzy. I thought it was good. I thought he was gonna go for fuzzy, but wasn't quite the case. And here we go with Lucy Johnny finding the opening, forcing H2O to pop the burst. A nice jump out right there from H2O. Ah, Lucy Johnny found the way in. Ah, he's just on the card, he needs to be careful. Okay, we're good. Again with the jump out. Straight on to Lucy Johnny with the guard break. Nice six feet. Forcing Lucy Johnny to guard again with the the jabs on block and yeah ooh it's you really trying to keep Lucy Johnny in the corner but Lucy Johnny not afraid to just run straight and get out of the pressure show oh, no drop big <laughs> drop right there H2O taking this as oh that was a sick bag dash right there on the standing K of Saul of Lucy Johnny man nice stuff from H2O Managed to punish him accordingly also and get the kill. Okay, here we go with H2 in the corner with the pressure. Ah, big jump in right there from Lucy Johnny. Managed to get the counter hit on the far S. Forcing H2 to pop the burst, but here we go with H2 and some pressure of his own. Wow, that brave 6 HS from Lucy Johnny. I couldn't get the confirm, no. Oh, and the jump in from H2. Ooh, he's got one card out. Ooh, too far to get anything going. Oh, that was such a crazy six speed. And we see Johnny drops it again. No, you need to see it. Ah, uh, nice aerial grab right there from H2. We're gonna get the guard break. He's got a corner positioning. We see Johnny not afraid again. Ah, this should do actually. Oh no, he drops it again. Woo! That six K though. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. It's you just once that one hit gets the hit with the Miss Finer and takes a uh, oh sorry and takes the lead. Are we gonna see a character change? No character change from uh, Lucy Johnny though, yo. Okay, okay. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, okay, nice stuff from H2 already forcing Lucy Johnny to pop the burst. That being said, Lucy Johnny does have the corner positioning. Okay, here we go. It's still forced to pop the burst as well to get some real estate space back. Oh, that jump in low. Big jump in from Musi Johnny. Goes for the low, gets the hit in, goes for the RC extension. Should be able to get the wall break. Here we go with a positive bonus and some added pressure. No hard knockdown though, obviously. Back to the neutral. Nice air to air from Musi Johnny. Gets the confirm no and drops it. <laughs> Ooh. Still in time for the block. And just like this, bro. Musi Johnny takes the first round of this uh, fourth match. Let's see how this spins out. You know, again with the 6P, man. Musi Johnny has been uh, checking the, uh, the hops from H2 consisting of every single one of them. He gonna do it again? Nope, not this time around. He does have a D jump in though, and HCO with the brave Abare right there. The brave challenge right in the block strings right there. Not fearing to get counter hit by that really annoying forest from, uh, from, from Soul. Annoying but necessary. And here we go with, ooh, the delayed jump in from Musijani. 
Got the corner positioning. Ooh, he tried to go for that up, down mix up, up low mix up, high low mix up, but uh, yeah, it, unfortunately, he kind of uh, messed it up right at the end. Went for a standing S instead of a uh, 2K, I believe. That being said, here we go with the aerial grab from H2, and just like this, we are on match point. Is H2 going to be able to secure the deal, or is Uzi Johnny going to be able to bring it back? Ooh, big 2S counter hit too far for the follow up, though you hate to see it. H2O goes for the guard break. Woof. Ah, brave advancement right there from Uzi Johnny. Goes for the close S. Ooh, no entires right there. Nice. Confirms though from 2H2O. Should be able to get the wall break. No bars though for a hard knockdown. Unfortunate for him. <laughs> look at the <laughs> look at the walk forward from H2O, man. Ooh, that big vortex counter hit though. Good lord! <laughs> that was quite the statement from Johnny, not gonna lie. Here we go with the grab and the safe jump from Usi Johnny. Goes for the low this time around and finally finds the hit. Let's see if it works. Nice air to air. He's got the conversion. No, he dropped it. Oh, it's duo, man. That was so good. He recognized that uh, Usi Johnny was right in the middle of, uh, of a back step and uh, therefore. Immediately, Roman cancelled out of his super and immediately forward dashed in order to catch the recovery frame of the back dash and punish accordingly. This is, yeah, the last legs of Usijani gets shimmied and the uh, killing blow for HTO manages. And here we go. So, Timco versus Caffeine Taiwan versus Japan. Let's see how this pans out. Definitely looking forward to it. And. Here we go with Timco rocking that, uh, I'm gonna, I was going to say green aura, but it's not the case. That yellow aura. Timco, very methodical player. So let's see how this pans out. Wow, very nice swift punch. Trying to go for the grab, but yeah, Caffeine was already on to them. Wow, a nice bar right there from uh, Timco. Unfortunately, got, yeah, got put into the mix. He, he has to hold it. Caffeine probably going for, yep, Illusion Driver. Lithium driver! Let's go for the wall break. This is a forced hard knockdown. Oh, is Caffeine going to attack? Goes straight for the... Wow, that grab though. I don't really know what Caffeine tried to go for this time around, but oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's only the first uh, round, so it's not really like completely pertinent. It is fine. Please trust me when I say that Tinko is an extremely strong player. I am definitely sure he's going to be able to uh, bring it back. Anyways, and here we go with... Ooh, the big standing HS, man. This is going to do a ton of damage, by the way. Let's see how this spins it out. One second, guys. I'm checking real quick. Checking real, real quick. Hmm. I'm really sorry, guys. One second. Okay, we're good. And here we go with Caffeine actually taking the first match pretty convincingly. It's okay, Timco just needs to uh, just needs to warm up a bit. I'm definitely sure it's gonna be fine. So let's see how this pans out. And Timco, ooh, tried to go for that 2D, but Caffeine maintaining a very nice distance, especially not to get hit by this move. And Caffeine already on the roll to get as many minions as possible on the ground. Oh, big standing HS counter hit. Even managed to get the juggle right after it. Big 6P as well. Caffeine on point with the entire does not want Zinko to, uh, to jump on him whatsoever. Yo, Maurice, how are you doing? Driver! Big overdrive for the kill for Caffeine. Takes the first round of this second match. Here we go with Timco trying to get as close as possible to Caffeine, not to give them any space to put a minion on the floor that being said ah caffeine with the nice side switch gets the freaking playoff kick the mama playoff kick if i like to, to call it with jack oh and here we go with the freaking wake up indigen driver but no timco was aware of it and this should do a ton of damage look at the damage timco deciding to keep their bars for added pressure in oh Caught you back, dashing. Very nice read from Timco. Is he gonna seal the deal? I'm doing good. Hope you're. Oh, of course, I'm always doing good. I'm happy that you're doing good as well. 
big wall break. Hard knockdown and the freaking that option select to catch the back dash from capping. That was six stuff from Timco. Manages to take the first, the second round of the second map. Timco being a lot more aggressive this time around. Not giving any space to Caffeine, but Caffeine also responding in, uh, in, in, um, well, in equal measures, if I might say. Big Elysian driver, too far to get the wall break, though. Ooh, wow, even got the freaking juggle off of a tap dust. That was sick. Good stuff from Caffeine. Go straight with the round startup, not round startup, but post uh, wall break uh, startup with a wild assault and immediately, um, uh, well, proceeded to put a minion on the floor for added pressure. 2-2-0 for Caffeine. This is a little bit harsh for Tinko, not going to lie. But uh, let's all believe. Let's keep believing. The stuff from Timco gets a pretty nice pressure right there. Goes for the grab in the corner. Here we go, the Troval. Uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the Troval. Yeah, it's, it's the Troval. Here we go, the Troval again. The uh, Spiral Arrow. <laughs> nice juggle, man, from Caffeine. Even gets the side switch, man. That was sick. I don't know if it was intentional, but if it was. That was really sick. Oh, big burst made straight into the Elysian driver. It's not gonna kill, it might kill actually. Yeah, it's gonna kill, bye bye. Good stuff from Caffeine already on match point. Are we on the, I think this is the winner's uh, semi-final by the way. This is, no, no, not yet, not yet. We still have uh, two more matches before the semi-finals. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff from, uh, from Caffeine goes for the grab. Ah, goes for the empty low, man, and straight into the Elysian Driver. Is this gonna kill as well? It might kill. Ah, yeah, pixel of life left. What is Tim gonna do? What is Tim gonna do? Ooh, you can see, yeah. Caffeine trying to bait that yellow Roman cancel, but yeah, unfortunately for Tim. Uh, yep, let's do this. Yeah, sorry guys, I need to uh, check. I have two streams to check at the same time because I'm restreaming right now. <laughs> Since uh, finally Twitch gave us this, uh, this ability, I'm currently checking everything. And big start of the round though for Roy though, Mo. Man, Roy not, not letting up anything now. Nope. With the bandit, yeah, and the mixes are real. Roy, extremely freaking violent right now, man. Good lord. Big Tyrant Rave. Mm. Okay, we're good. Sorry for the wait. Ah, uh, uh, I shouldn't have done this. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, <laughs> here we go with the grab, man. Grab from Roy, and first. Uh, First round goes to Roy, actually. Ooh, with the tick pressure, man. The pressure is real from Roy, but Amato bravely pressing buttons right there. Gets the opening. Unfortunately, could not get the follow-up. Nice. Oh, no. A little bit too too early on. The, or maybe too far? No, nah, maybe too early, I suppose, on the command grab right there from Amato. Roy is going to take this opportunity to apply some pretty big pressure with crazy damage. Yeah, Amato aware of the 50-50 uh, mix-up. Oh, man. <laughs> the raw DP, man. This man. Oh, Amato, man. And the brave burst. I'm surprised that Roy did not even roam and cancel right at the end. Trying to... Didn't even try to, like, bait the burst from Amato. He was so, so certain that he was going to take this match that he was like, Yeah, I don't care. He can burst. It's fine. That was pretty crazy, man. Roy extremely, extremely violent. Uh, aggressive. I'm not going to say violent. But aggressive player, man. He um, rem he reminds me a lot of uh, of, of uh, Kazunoko, by the way, uh, in his ability to really use DP at very specific moments where he is certain that his opponent is going to press a button, which is uh, it's not easy to do, you know. It's not easy to really determine exactly when you're supposed to press a press a uh, or press a button, you know, to uh, to punish and whatnot. That being said, here we go with Roy already with the kill, man. Holy freaking lord. Uh, let me check real quick something. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm doing stuff at the same time. You'll excuse me, of course. <laughs> I'll be right back. Anyway, so. 
Oh, no, well, yeah, we're just... We're gonna go with the Bandit Bringer and the Wall Break as well. Yeah, for Amato, uh, on the end, doesn't have a lot of health yet. Uh, we're gonna go with the low from Roy, man. Roy, not afraid. One more chance for Amato to try to bring it back. It will definitely be hard, not going to lie. But we'll see, we'll see. If anybody can do it, it might as well be a macho. Why did it? Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. Uh, yep, sorry for the wait. And here we go. Okay, so. Hey, long time no see. Thanks for the notification. I have been busy with Rick. Haven't played as I've been. Yo, Infected, how are you doing? Yeah, well, thank you very much for coming by, man. Much appreciated. Ah, the big OS right there with the far S from Roy catches Amato backing down and punishes him with a counter hit. Uh, far S. Here we go with the jump in from Roy. Goes for the low. And Amato successfully blocks. Unfortunately, gets hit by the Abari from. Uh, Roy and just like this Roy is on a match point big start of the round right there with the juggle also from Amato who goes for a command grab sniffing that DP from Roy goes for the save jump ah, and Roy getting hit right there Ooh, goes for the DP man not afraid exactly man infected I know I know I know life be busy sometimes oh no that was an unfortunately time mix 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 though from Amato oh wow that's pretty good stuff from Amato. Gonna get the follow-up of the spear with the golf club. Oh, Lord. Nope. That trumpet is for me. And man, I'm off. Good Lord, Roy going straight for the DP. That was sick. Yeah, and here we go. We're in Mixtown. There's only so many mixes you can block one after the other. Here we go with the next match. This is the first match of the semifinals. The winner semifinals, that is. Let's see how this pans out. Marone versus Caffeine. A hill as old as time. These guys have been fighting each other for quite some time, for quite a while as well. So I'm definitely uh, sure that they know exactly uh, each other's place out. <laughs> yes, indeed. So let's see how this pans out. For now, I would say that Caffeine uh, has the upper hand when it comes to um, most of their um, most of their bouts in the World Cup, that is. Uh, but Moron is expect. Wow! The fully charged does that actually hit Cafe, man! That was sick! That was so sick! The whiff punish fully charged does. That was crazy good. Good stuff from uh, Moron, man. Very good stuff. Very nice. I don't know if it was intentional, but it definitely worked out for him in the end. Anyways, we're going with the DP, man. Moron not wanting to deal with any pressure that Caffeine has to send towards his way. But very nice and brave 6 period there from Caffeine uh, on the Okizeme. Definitely sniffing out that uh, Moron was going to go for a standing S and punished accordingly. Here we go with the DP finally. Moron also very prone to DPing you if you apply too much pressure on him. That being said, a nice, nice conversions right there from Moron with a very nice corner carry. Straight into the wall break. Gotta get back to work. My boss will have my ass if I don't finish. No problem, man. Thank you very much, uh, Infected, for coming by. And yeah, definitely, let's... Uh, hopefully, we'll see you again next time. Thank you very much, bro. Oh! And Moral, man. Wow! Caffeine managed to live! But still, unfortunately, got hit right at the end. And Marone actually managing to get that first match very, very convincingly. Well, I, thanks to the skin of his teeth, though, because it, it was actually not really one-sided. Okay, good stuff from Caffeine, not believing that the, the Wild Assault would um, would actually connect there. Stops his uh, combo mid-road. mid, mid road. Yeah, Anyways, that being said, we are back in neutral. Maroon with the perfect spacing right there. Managing to get the upper hand every single time. Oh, nice air-to-air -air right there. Managed to get to dispose of Dominion. And again, man, here you go with Caffeine. Ah, getting hit by the DP, but Moron with the 2S, man, catching uh, the... Oh, wow, wow, that was unfortunate. I think he's safe. No, he's not. That was unfortunate. That was really unfortunate for Moron. Again with the DP, but this time around, due to the spacing, Caffeine made it with and 
was able to punish it uh, on his way down. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the air-to-air -air grab, man. That was crazy stuff from uh, Caffeine. Definitely on point. Caffeine getting grabbed. Here we go with the jump. Maroon, man, with the different timing. Uh, actually um, converting there with the wild assault. Managed to get the wall break. Not converted, but confirmed. Yeah, I, w I wanted to say confirmed. And here we go with the overhead, man. And Maroon with the freaking corner pressure. Look at that, man. Already up one match, but also one round right now, man. Thanks for the follow, Trooper Trooper, and welcome to the Brothers. Much appreciated. Here we go with... Oh, Lord, so many minions. What to do, what to do? Just done the perfectly Good stuff from uh, Maroon. Oh, got hit by the 2D counter hit, though. Here we go with the juggle from Caffeine. Goes for the safe jump. Manages to sniff out the DP, unfortunately. Uh, for him, Maron did have a tension bar to uh, make it safe. And here we go, man, with the close S, catching that bag dash. And converting, do we see a... Yep, right, the lightning. Kaboom! What's gonna be the mix? Kevin does have two bars of tension, so pretty much can... Yeah, man, that... I would have gone straight for the wake-up overdrive, man. Straight for it. Great for it. And manages to get the juggle with the wall break right at the end for the kill. Good stuff from Caffeine. Puts one on the board. We have a game, ladies and gentlemen. A tie. Let's see how this spins out. Back to the neutral. And Maron finding the jump and forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Caffeine trying to put as many minions on the floor as possible. Manages to get the pressure going but not opening Maroon decisively enough though big <laughs> six hs that was pretty pretty great oh manages to force Maroon to pop the golden burst too that being said yeah unfortunately that was a very nice six hs by the way wasn't able to uh, get any sort of conversion because of the distance between him and Maroon at that particular uh time yo kyo cannon how you doing thanks for the banana buff can wait to, uh, for people to see it actually Let's uh let's show everybody. Here we go, I'm a banana! Thanks to Kyo, how you doing? The stream looks so nice. Thanks, much appreciated, Symboline. <laughs> much appreciated. Yeah, I have some uh some very nice channel points that you can use to make me change appearance. Right now Kyo redeemed the uh, the banana client, so I am effectively a banana. Hey! <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, the banana is the best. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite. The banana is legitimately the best. I have also a turtle. I have the... Uh, how do you call it? Um, I forgot the name. The Pixar lamp as well. I have, uh, I have other stuff as well. I haven't updated them. I have like so many other filters that I could use, but I'm, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to like updating them. But I'll do it eventually. I, I just need to find the, the time to update it kind of a drag to do it but that being said back to the game and here we go with Maron and the wall break gun to secure a hard knockdown as well with the jump in and man Maron on a, a train on a train wreck I was gonna say but no it's not a train wreck it's quite the opposite on a treadmill <laughs> no it's probably not treadmill but you catch the idea on a streak a streak here we go on a uh, offensive streak and Caffeine manages to get the uh, yeah, the first hit in. Already has Maron in the corner. Yeah, trying to yeah put as many minions on the floor as possible. Ah, uh, managed to get one, but yeah, Maron dispatches them so effectively, man. Does not want to see a single minion on Reclusive. Ah, finally, Caffeine manages to get two and a third run right now. You can see that Caffeine is really trying to work their way towards Maron, but still afraid pro probably of Maron's VP. Probably. Okay, good lord, man. Maron. Oh, got hit. <laughs> Maron got hit indeed. Driver! <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Okay, here we go with. Oh, the safe jump. Yeah, you can see Caffeine definitely looking, looking, um, looking for them DPs, man. Maron, ooh, went for the Sun Dipper. Thankfully for him, he did have a tension board in order to make it safe. And the spacing from Cafe manages to whiff punish the um, uh, Foudre d'Arc. Foudre d'Arc, like we say in French. Here we go with the Direct Law. Ooh, almost got the juggle, but still got the reset right there, thankfully. Even if he made it whiff. Good stuff from Maron. Goes for the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. 
We go with the safe jump. He's gonna go for the fuzzy. Yeah, and caffeine. Knowing that mix, but still getting hit afterwards. With the perfect, by the way, Maron on match point. Is he gonna send caffeine to the loser's bracket? That would be pretty, pretty crazy. Because usually we tend to see the other way around. That was an unfortunate grab from Captain Gats. His back dash caught with the 2S. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Hard knockdown also. Okay. Here we go with Caffeine. Forced to use the um the reversal assault. The wild reversal, yeah, that's how we call it. Straight into the secret edge. Not enough to kill. And the grab for the kill. Maron sends Caffeine to the loop. And on to the next battle. Yes, we go. Okay, just one second, guys. Uh, what was that? Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, let me I'm gonna take off this. Big counter hit right there for... Big counter hit for Roy. Yeah, I'm gonna check real quick the bracket, guys. Sorry. I'm a banana this. <laughs> I'm a very, very sugary banana. Ah, okay, I might know what the problem is. Okay. Okay, so, uh, where is Moogie? Moogie, Moogie, Moogie. Ah, Moogie actually... Maron actually sent Moogie to the loser's racket. Good lord. Maron on a winning streak right now, man. And Moogie currently fighting Timko in... He's going to fight Timko in the in the loser's bracket, and we are going to see this match too, so it's actually pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, there we go with the Bandit Bringer into the Wild Assault for the uh, the Wall Break. Am I banana niwa? Toge ah toge ah so non desu ka? Kore shiran katta desu. Ya, watashi niwa nai no de go anshin kudasai. Am I dake desu? Watashi. Anyways, there we go with the jump in. From Roy, gonna get the follow-up with the Vortex and the kill with the wall break. That was a pretty explosive first match, not going to lie. Let's see how this pans out. First match goes to Roy. Is Hagira gonna be able to bring it back? We shall see. Boom! A big 2S counter hit right at the start of the match. Roy definitely not missing a single second. Goes for the Bandit Bringer. <clears throat> Here we go with the Bender Bringer again, goes for the low this time around. We go with the jump in, big 2D counter hit from Roy, gonna get the follow up. Should get, yeah. We're also gonna get the wall break, very nicely done. Ah, the Bender Bringer man again. Bender Revolver this time around. Finally, I get like getting something going on. Almost getting the juggle, but nice. Close as to catch the back dash. And forcing Roy to pop the wire C. I feel like Roy is gonna pop a DP. Smoy, <clears throat> my brother from another mother. Thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated, bro. I hope you're doing really, really good. And I hope you'll be playing Grand Blue Fantasy Rising as well. <laughs> Yo, dude, Galilee for it. No problem. Have a very good one. And I hope you had a very nice stream, Smoy. And your community is always welcome over here. Thanks you very much, bro. And here we go on to the next battle. Oh, speaking of which, I wanted to do something as well. I guess I'm gonna ask uh, you guys to wait a couple of seconds, uh, but I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So. Uh, one second. Let's go with this. I'll be right back, guys. Big Legion driver, bro. And uh, how get on the verge of getting the kill, though, but still not enough. Still not enough. Finally gets the kill. Uh, I do believe we're one match apiece, if I'm correct. What reach? I guess one for Good now. Yes. All right. Okay, let's see. Gonna test something out and it's working okay good we're back in business good 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 <clears throat> uh yes we're one round of peace i believe so uh, uh that being said here we go with the otg damage from Hagara. got the corner positioning oh 
manages to get a hit on Roy while he was in the air and also oh almost got the kill though again saved by the pixel man and Roy right at the post wall break goes straight for bended revolver of course big bended bring right there not enough to kill though oh bended bended you're dead <laughs> Good stuff from Hagata right there using the blue Roman cancel, knowing that Roy wanted to use the bended revolver right at the start of the 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 the, the, the post um the post wall break. But that being said, here we go with Roy with the corner pressure catches Hagata with the standing HK uh standing uh, standing K. Yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage, not enough to kill though, but pretty close. Good lord, look at the damage. We go probably gonna go for a safe jump which is not safe by the way ah big standing hs oh and the 6p from hagara was sick he was wary of the again with the 6p man he's looking for that dp so much <laughs> hagara looking for that dp so damn much yo zoom how you doing man welcome back and you can see hagara looking for that dp so damn much but yeah roy not giving it to him nice aerial grab though from roy managed to get the kill Let's see how this turns out. Big standing S man, that did a ton of damage. Here we go with the close up pressure. Nice juggle from Hagara. Ah, bit bending burger. Ooh, nice trade in favor of nobody actually. Okay, Hagara has some minions on deck unfortunately for them their minion bar was not enough and roy with the dp right in your box block strength gonna get the juggle ayala does have two bars of tension so pretty much safe on wake up right now oh man the jump in though from roy is gonna seal the deal and roy takes the lead two to one is it yeah two to one it is okay good i didn't miss i wasn't mistaken i'm happy <laughs> that's all i wanted Good stuff, good stuff. Good times, good times. Okie dokie, Brids and Cookie. And here we go with the far S counter hit. You love to get hit by it. Hagiara, man. Ah, Hagiara getting hit left and right. And Roy with the perfect spacing, man. Gonna get that juggle with the Vortex and the corner carry as well. Should use the Wild Assault for the hard knockdown. What is gonna be the mix? Here we go with the jump in. And the mix is real, but Hagara, nice blocks from Hagara. Ah, you can see Roy gonna go for the mix again. He wants that forest, man. Gonna go for the oh lord, that reverse, the the wild reverse. Oh. And again with the mix, man. Hagara and the defense has been pristine. The defense of Hagara has been pristine, but there's only so many times you can manage to block. Uh, so only so many times you can block him. And just like this, we are on over. Uh, on um, match point actually. Let's see how this pans out. Nice grab from Hagala. Goes for the save jump. Goes for the empty low too. And Hayala doesn't have any resource right now to secure a hard knockdown though. Fortunately for hit them. Nice juggle from Hagala. We go using the minion to keep Roy on the floor. Keep your Roy on the floor. Roy probably gonna pop that DP sooner rather than later. No DP for you, sir. Okay, Hagara staying alive. Manages to get that uh, second round of that fourth match. Nice start of the round for Hagara. Well, manages to make the DP too. That is perfect for Hagara. Nice 2k 2d right there from Hagara. Goes for the safe wake up option. Nice standing P to catch Roy. Pressing buttons and again, man. I got a, not afraid to press buttons on Roy's wake up. Not afraid of the DP this time around. And it works out for them perfectly. Two to two. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Roy can manage to... Um, well, it, it can go either ways, actually, since uh, we have a tie. So let's see who is going to take the first round. It's definitely going to be... Oh! Oh, good lord! So many DPs, man. I got to try to actually manage to get a read on the... The DP timings of Roy. This is uh, unheard of. Ah, the big Roman Gensel though. And here we go with the 2HS counter. Uh, the 2HS. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, nice blue Roman Gensel right there from Hagera. Probably looking for that uh, round start um, um, bandit revolver. So let's see how this pans out. 
Ah, should be able to catch the backdash. He does. He's not able to uh, juggle. And here we go with the mix. Nice blocks from Hagelado. Very nice blocks. Ah, oh, man. And here we go with the mix. And the tap does for the kill. And just like this, Roy takes the lead and is on match point, actually. Let's see if Hagelado can save it yet again. If that's the case, then it's going to be pretty good for him. Ah, nowhere to err for you, sir. Big 6S counter hit right there from Roy. He's going to get a ton of damage. Not going to kill. But look at the damage. No overdrive whatsoever. And already 50% of your life is gone. That was pretty good stuff from Roy, man. Ah, let's go. Ah, no juggle too far for it. Catches Roy trying to jump out of the pressure. Yeah, he, ooh, nice air to air from Hagela. And catches Roy. No, that was an input error for sure. That was for sure an input error. He still catches him backdashing. Oh, and the oh, I'm not saved by the freaking saved by the freaking minion. We are going down to the last round of the last match, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take it? Who's going to make their way to the winner's final? We shall see. Good lord, that was so intense, man. Getting the freaking juggle using the Ah, uh, nowhere to air for you this time around, though. Oh, big 4S counter hit. This is going to do a ton of damage. We go with the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. This is going to be the wake up. Ah, uh, yeah, forced to use. I don't really agree with it. Oh, but nice stuff. Hagata has exactly where he wants them to be. Nice air to air against the juggle. Not too far enough. Oh, what the hell was that? How did it hit? Ah, uh, dude, uh, my lord. Good lord! Oh, forcing Roy to pop the bird! No! Here we go, the mix and the grab! Can Hagia finish it? Can he finish it? It's not gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. Oh, we're going down to the wire. What's gonna be the thing? Revolver, revolver, revolver! <laughs> oh, this is the, not the end. Revolver, revolver! It's coming! Oh, just lord, that was so freaking clutch! But Hagia clutches it out, takes it three. On to the next battle, it's Stuart versus Amato. Let's go indeed, Carrot of Wisdom. <laughs> and here we go with Carrot in the chat. The strongest Carrot, the strongest Carrot. Yes, not only the strongest Carrot, but the strongest Jacko player in uh, EU currently. So definitely a uh, force to be reckoned with. Always good to see him in the chat as well. How are you doing, Carrot? And that being said, here we go with uh, the uh, start of the round with Amato. Gonna get that wall break using the... Uh, Overdrive is gonna get a hard knockdown. Ah, oh, good lord, that was crazy, man. That last match, though. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, and I can see some support for Amato in, this, in the chat as well. Amato, uh, very, very liked by the community, by the way. Very strong fast player. I mean, so it's always a treat to see him play. And gets the first round with the perfect, by the way. So let's see if H2O can respond uh, adequately. We shall see. Okay, back to the neutral. Ooh, Amato trying to go for the spear, but gets hit by the... Uh, Miss Finer by H2O. Here we go with the close up pressure. Miss Finer right in the blocks ring, not afraid. A nice, uh, nice cancel right there from H2O to try to catch Amato pressing buttons and punishing him accordingly. And here we go with uh, the hop, the explosive hop. Again with the explosive hop, trying to invite Amato to press a button. Nice sweep right there from Amato. Well, 2S actually, it's not the sweep. And unfortunately for Amato, H2O did manage to get the trumpet, but it's okay. Amato is out of the corner. Very nice uh, counter hit. Forcing H2O to pop the burst of Lord. Where did this teleport came from? I have no idea. Okay, here we go with... Ooh, 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 ooh. The explosiveness of that wig, though. And H2O should be able to seal the deal. And he does with the wall break. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Duo 3 indeed. Oh, here we go with the teleportation. Amato with the Abari manages to get H2O out of his air. Try to go for a command wrap. Unfortunately, timed one, by the way, but it's still fine. We're back in the neutral. Amato with the overhead gatches. H2O off guard using the <coughs> teleport. Roman cancels straight into the command wrap. How many freaking syringe can you, can you give to a man? Good lord. Okay, nice. Oh, nice aerial. Miss Finder right there from H2O. Oh, and Amato with the raw command grab. Not afraid. 
Gotta go for the safe setup, the double aerial syringe. Inviting H2O to press a button right there and punishing him accordingly. Here we go, the wake up overdrive. Good boom. Good start from H2O. I'm gonna get some decent damage. Nice block and oh, Amato, man. Amato catching H2O, pressing the tech button right there. <laughs> oh lord. Amato just running straight toward this dude, not afraid. Oh, big Miss Finer. Uh, this should do. No, too far to get the kill. We go the wake up golden burst. Thankfully for Amato, he did get a little bit of a banana and gets the kill with a close F. First match goes to Amato. Very nicely done. Let's see if uh, Ishio can manage to bring it back. We shall see. Ah, oh, nice explosive match right there. Again, back to... Ooh! The neutral. <laughs> and Amato with the close S counter hit. Should be able to make it out of the corner. He does. Gets two mix, mix, mixes in a single combo for a nice corner carry. Ah, oh, tries to go for the command grab, but too freaking early. His opponent was still in the block. A stun, so unfortunately for Amato, he was not able to get the command grab. And here we go with the oh safe jumps. Amato trying to hit H2 out of the air, forcing him onto the mini fouls to uh, get blocked in pressure. And nice finishing combo using the RC. Amato takes the lead one round one match. H2 a little bit slow on that entire. Ah, gets hit by the wild assault counter hit, but Amato not able to um, to convert off of it. Oh, the Vare man from Amato right on the, make, uh, the wake up. Gonna go for the safe jump, but H2 with the backdash not only evades the safe jump, but also the follow up a command grab. Go straight for the overdrive. What's my name? It's Johnny. Good. Boom. Good start from H2. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord. And the teleportation catching H2 off guard. Gonna be forced to block stuff and... Ooh, and the fuzzy. That was sick. That was sick, but unfortunately... Ooh, Lord, and the wake up overdrive. And Amato was safe also. Oh, luckily for him. Good Lord, that wake up jab straight into the command grab. And what the hell? Why did it hit? Why did it hit? What the hell happened here? Why did it hit? That was so strange. It was so unfortunate for him. <laughs> That's unfortunate for Amato, yeah. He was clearly on the other side, but yeah, hitboxes. You love them. Anyways, here we go with H2O. Ah, forcing Amato to pop the burst. Very nice Miss Finder. Goes over the banana peel. Doesn't get hit by it also. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Oh, you're not in jail, actually. And Amato with the corner combo using the Mix Mix Fix to go straight into the overdrive. Gonna get some nice decent damage plus a uh, hard knockdown. Uh, nice decent damage so so I guess. We go with the jump in, the safe one at that. Ah, here we go with the spear, nice blocks from H2O. Woo! And yeah, if you block the spear too often, Amato might sometimes teleport straight. And then Roman cancel and grab you, command grab you straight. So you need to be careful. Big 6k counter hit. Ah, uh, Mato is going to be forced to pop the burst, obviously, if he doesn't want to. Wow, he went with the upper mix using the Scarecrow. Good stuff from Mato. Takes like 2 to 0 on the verge of eliminating H2O. Let's see if H2O can manage to bring it back. We shall see. And back to the game. Amato low profiling the Mistfinder using his crawl. Ah, good luck. Here we go, the Mistfinder again. And here we go with H2O with the feints. Oh, get the juggle. Forcing Amato to pop the burst. Hit you with the jump in. Amato does have little Faust out. Oh, actually, he doesn't, unfortunately. He gets the wall break, he's gonna get the positive bonus as well. Much needed one at that since he doesn't have any bar tension. Well, he does now, thanks to the positive bonus. Wow, good <laughs> lord, what happened? <laughs> ah, big 6p from Amato. Goes for the low. Pinning H2O down a little bit too far for the command grab still. This is the second time he, unfortunately, uh, mistimes his command grab. 
But uh, it is what it is. Ichio manages to get that first round of the third match. Much needed for him as well. Here we go with the 6k. Oh, drops the combo. And the Mato uses this opportunity to wake up with the gold burst and get the positive bonus. Goes for the cross up mix, mix, mix. It's gonna be the mix. Little Faust is out. Ow! Oh, unfortunate. Ooh, okay, here we go. And the Mato with the successful rage. Uh, not rage bait. <laughs> With the successful burst bait, but a little bit too far in this jump in order to bait it. And here we go with the overdrive straight into death. Amato is gonna be on on match point. Let's see if H2 can save it or not. We shall see. She with the uh, the low mist finer. Nice block on the overhead. Ooh, does have the cavalry to help him keep applying pressure. He did not have any cards in order uh, to get the wall break using the Miss Finer, unfortunately for him. And here we go with the wake up overdrive again. It's been working a lot for H2O. What's my name? It's Johnny. Here's Johnny. And here we go with the hop. Amato trying really, really hard to get. An angle. Wow, big 6 spear right there on the teleportation attempt from Amato. And finally, it's still putting one on the board. First match that he gets against Amato. Still needs two more if he wants to stay in the tournament. Let's see if he manages to do so. Ah, just one second, guys. Checking if everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine in the bracket side. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Good stuff, good stuff. Big counter hit right there. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Okay, sorry for the wait. Here we go to close S counter. Uh, not counter. <laughs> unlock. Not counter hit at all. And H2 on point with the grabs. Forcing Amato to pop the wire C. Amato. Wow. Wait, the fake out straight into the command grab. Amato on match point on the verge of eliminating H2 from the tournament. Wow. Big stand. Standing HS right at the start of the oh the freaking round, but Amato with a counter hit of his own using the command gra the uh, the overhead. <clears throat> okay, so with the grab gets the side switch, gonna be able to keep the pressure on going using the uh, guard break properties of the cards. Nice aerial grab from Amato, definitely on point. Goes for the command grab again, again, and the extension as well. He definitely wanted that uh, positive bonus. With uh, the stagger. Oh, and he goes 40. Oh, the instant overhead. Okay, nice bar right there. Nice checks from the issue. Ah, and Amato catching the bag dash with the close S. Amato moves on. And here we go Giovanna versus Nagori Mugi. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. I think this is, it's not the first time they play against each other, but I cannot recall for my life. Uh, to who won their last bout. I do believe it might have been Mugi, but don't quote me on it. It's been such a long time since I've seen Timko on uh, on the Brojo Cup, so it's actually very um, refreshing to see him there. But I don't recall, yeah, what happened to his last performance. Uh, I do believe he fought against Mugi, but I, I can't tell exactly who won. That being said, we go with Timko, and the juggle is going to get a wall break for an already fully uh, charged attention bar. Ah, and here we go with the standing S. Timko going straight for the overdrive cancel. Mugi, however, did not commit to any <coughs> button, so it was safe to block it. Nice conversion from Timko and confirms as well. Should be able to get the Kale! Drops it! Tries to go for something fancy and he might live to regret it. Right now, Mugi just looking to, yeah, looking to just make him spend his burst. Big, oh, Beyblade, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Simku is definitely probably slapping himself on the shoulder because of that. 
a big start of the round from Mugi is gonna get a ton of damage with the wall break as well. 50% right off the bat with the positive bonus. But Timko is not out of it yet. Goes for the safe jump. Goes for a grab this time around. See how this spins out. Goes for the safe jump as well. Very nice bag that for Mugi too. It's sick. Okay, big two, uh, big three K right there. Wanting to keep Timko on the floor. Nice command grab from Mugi. Timko unfortunately not able to go. Oh! Not only did he get the burst bait, but he also got the side switch. That was sick. That was sick. Here we go with Tim going for the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. That was a sick punish, man. That was a sick punish from Tim Go. Good lord. If I do, uh, I'm actually going to have to do uh, the, uh, um, the highlights because I cannot do the top animated top 8 since uh, I don't have the, the the model for Johnny. But I'm definitely going to put this in the in the top, in the, the, the highlights. Oh, that was sick. Good stuff from Tim, man. Here we go with the grabs. Tim Go going for the uh, meaty... Uh, Travao, big simple Tura counter hit, straight into the Ventania, this is gonna do a ton of damage, not enough to kill, obviously, since Mugi's uh, blood gauge is not nearly filled, big, big, big Fukio into the Beyblade, ah, and Mugi forcing Timko to pop the burst, uh, to pop the, uh, the YRC, and Timko sealing the deal with the standing K, very nice thing, don't take the, oh, and we are going to have a connection, I'm happy that you do, bro. And here we go with the second round first, or the second match actually. First match went to Timko, won it pretty convincingly. Big 6 period there from Timko, gonna get the corner positioning. Gets hit by the 2 as well, but with no follow-up. Timko not afraid to dash and grab. Might get me back into playing Strive again. Oh, please do, man. We uh, we need to have more Strive representation, my bro. And Eno looking fine in this patch, man. She really is. I really like how she's playing. Anyways, we are back to the neutral, and Mugi with the Beyblade is gonna get the corner positioning. Unfortunately, gets hit cross up. Timko going straight with the conversion station into big damage. Doesn't use the uh, tension bar, but does use the wild assault. Woo! Oh, and here we go with the tick pressure, and Mugi getting hit by the Sepultura. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. First round goes to uh, Timko. Timko with the bag dash on the 6p attempt from Mugi, man. And Mugi, yeah, whiffing one too many 6ps probably. Ooh, and that standing, that standing HS counter, uh, the punish from Timko, that was really good. Timko with the cross up, goes for, ooh, the shimmy, not the shimmy, the, the fuzzy, good stuff from Timko. He's got the corner positioning and this should do, not enough, because no bar in order to get the extension station and Timko getting the kill with the cross, with the, with the grab. That was a quick second match, not gonna lie. So let's see if uh, Mugi, yeah, can bring it back, because, yeah, that was really one-sided. Good stuff from uh, from Tim Kogo. Let's see, ooh, start of the round. Mugi getting that Beyblade right in. Very nice 6 feet. Couldn't quite get, couldn't get the juggle because Timko was forced to pop the burst. Timko did get the Trovao, goes for the Puente. Big 6 HS right there from Mugi with the closest to catch the back dash. Straight into the Wasuriyuki for the kill. Good stuff from Mugi, man. Yeah? Okay, convincing first round. Let's see if he can keep it up, though. On to the second round. Big check right there. 2k from Mugi to catch the standing HS from Timko. Mugi gonna get that positive bonus. Go straight with the post uh, wall break into the, the Beyblade. Not afraid, not afraid. Okay, Timko finally getting Mugi to uh, to block something. Wow, wow, that was a fake. Ah, yeah. I know what Tim tried to do there, but yeah, unfortunately for him, he messed up his bag dash right after the uh, the um, right after the um, the blue Roman cancel. He wanted to do a fake cross up, so basically do the cross up, do the Roman the blue Roman cancel to do a, to do a back Roman cancel actually, and land right in front of his opponent, and not uh, behind him. But he messed up his uh, back uh, his aerial bag dash, which is unfortunate. And Mugi is definitely uh, taking full advantage of this. That being said, uh, Timko does have a burst. And Mugi... Yeah, Mugi will just be content to just supply pressure until chip, uh, uh, chip damage takes his opponent out. Finally, Mugi puts one on the board. Are we going to see a reverse 3-0? We can... We we're gonna see. We'll see, we'll see. Then Timko content to not overextend 
Nails the 2D counter hit. Gonna get the side switch. Goes for the Traval. The Traval, yeah. Here we go. The close up pressure. Boogie reading the grab attempt. Backdashing accordingly. Ooh, nice air to air from, uh, from Timko. Moogie not on point when it came to punishing it, though. And here we go with the Ventania. Guaranteed hard knockdown with the positive bonus. What's going to be the mix? Straight grab. Is that going to be enough? Yes, it will. <laughs> Tim going with the, with the aerial overdrive. Saying, yep, you're not going to get that back, bro. You are dead. Let's see if Moogie is gonna respond to this uh, to this slight from uh, from Tim. We shall see. I see Moogie doing a, a grab loop in the corner. I see him doing this. And here we go with the close S. Moogie being extremely patient, man. Not overextending. Uh, finally catching Tim. Finally catching Tim wanting to get out of the pressure. And Tim getting hit by the close. Uh, ooh, big 2S. Right, post uh, post wall break. Moogie saving that uh, match point. Still needs to save this one as well. Forcing Tim to pop the burst. Gets hit straight, man, with the counter hit by the Troval. This is going to do a lot of damage. We go with the meaty Troval again. Nice 6P from Moogie. Tried to go for the command grab, but Tim was too aware of it. And, ooh, okay, here we go with Moogie. Catching that back dash with a standing S. Uh, no punish on the Troval right there, man. Yeah, Tim is gonna go for the tap dust eventually. Need to be careful. Oh, big 6P, and this it should do. And Tim Co actually actually eliminates Boogie from the And on to the next battle, battle, battle. It's gonna be Caffeine versus Amato. So let's see how this pans out. Big nice start of the round by Caffeine. Manages to force Amato already to pop the birds. <laughs> Amato trying to use the uh, the dust in order to send the minion back to Caffeine. Which would be pretty sweet. Okay, here we go. You want you want to see some minions? I have a minion of myself. And here we go with the little Faust. Forcing Caffeine on the ground. Can I start to right there from Amato? Gonna go for the 2k. Amato with the tick pressure, getting the command grab. Haha, <laughs> Sekusa. Cool, Yo, Inko Serial, and welcome to the stream. How are you doing, bro? Very nice first round for Amato. Actually manages to take the first round. Go, go, Amato, indeed. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the 2K. Actually high enough in order to dispatch of the incoming uh, the incoming minion that Caffeine sent in his way to, towards his, uh, his direction. Okay, Caffeine finally getting stuff going on, gets the juggle, and also a little bit of a corner carry right there, forcing Amato to pop the YRC, but Caffeine with the freaking overdrive right in the block strings. Ooh, and gets the juggle off of the guard point, man. That was sick. Good stuff for Caffeine. Okay, good stuff for Caffeine. Gets the kill. Ooh. Again, using the guard point perfectly well. Forcing Amato not to go too often for the uh, air to air option and making him doubt that is probably the uh, most important factor. The caffeine with uh, the minions yet again, dealing a lot of damage actually. Amato definitely uh, committing to trying to get rid of the minions as quickly as possible, but taking some damage in the process, which is definitely working in favor of caffeine mostly. <laughs> And here we go with the wall break for Amato. Oh, good lord. Oh, and Amato hitting again that guard point, man. Oh, going for the teleport. Is he going to get the follow-up? Yes, he gets the OTG kill using the overhead. Very nicely done by Amato. Gets the first kill. I'm doing all right. Just trying to get better using Bridget currently. How about you? I'm doing perfectly well. I'm just doing my thing with the Bridge Cup, And it's... Uh, it's, uh, it's going pretty nice. We have a lot of very nice players today. And we had already a nice uh, a nice uh, couple of, of matches. Even more than a couple, I, uh, might I say. So yeah, I'm definitely doing pretty good. And thank you very much for the follow, by the way. And just much appreciated. And welcome to the Brojos. And here we go with the wall break from Caffeine. He's going to get that much, much needed positive bonus. Wow, and three freaking 
hits from the minion in a row. Ah, Caffeine Man getting low profile by the crawl of Amato. Amato definitely on to that character knowledge. Oh, Amato again with the teleport, man. It's been working so good for him. Couldn't quite catch the back dash, but did manage to uh, make put that wig, uh, that wig on fire. We're good with the, uh, the bomb. Too high to get the bomb to hit. And uh, Mato, not Mato, uh, with and uh, Cafe with the kill using uh, the minion. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Woof! Ah, here we go with the jump in. Oh, good lord. Okay, Mato really trying to close the distance, but man, Cafe not letting him do so. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Very nice part. This is a cool tourney. What region does this include? All of the Asian region. As long as you're in Asia, so East Asia, South Asia, it's fine. You can participate. Uh, anything out of Asia, of course, is not allowed. But yeah, as long as you're in Asia, it's fine. So uh, It's Japan, Korea, China, the Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, Hong Kong. Uh, what else? Everything else that's in Asia. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Yeah, Scotland, as you already know, is yeah a little bit too far. But thanks for watching. It's, it's really, really... Um, it's much appreciated, bro. Thank you very much. And here we go with the jump in by Caffeine. Ooh, gonna go for the fake tap dust and went for the 2k instead. It was sick. Hmm. That's perfect. Good stuff. Good stuff from Caffeine. Puts one on the board as well. Let's see if Amato can respond in due fashion. We shall see. And here we go with the jump in from Amato, forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Very nice jump in right there from Amato. Gets another counter hit and the confirm straight into the wild assault. Good lord. Don't get to see Asian tourneys that up. Yeah, we don't, unfortunately. Well, there are, but they're mostly commentated in, in, in Japanese. Or in not... Well, you do have like a lot of, uh, of good tournaments in the SEA region. So Southeast Asia. That is uh, hosted by... Um, God damn it! Uh, what's his name? Uh, that is hosted by Zeej. Uh, Z, so Z E I D G E, and you also have the Tatakai Tuesday, which is which is an offline tournament hosted by Juna uh, every other Tuesday, and uh, it takes place at the Red Bull. So if you follow Anime Illuminati, uh, you should be able to see the the tournament as well. So yeah, we we have a couple of them, but yeah, mostly it's. Uh, Mostly the rest is in Japanese and it's usually not very, you know, uh, uh, foreigner friendly, if I might say. Zeej is cool. He was co-hosting Small Turn. Oh, yeah, no, Zeej is awesome. Zeej is awesome. He's really, really nice. He's very funny, too. <laughs> a very strong Naguru Yuki player as well, so yeah. He's not only a very good TO, he's a very good uh, player overall. Uh, so let's see how this pans out. A very nice air to air right there from Amato manages to dispatch the minion. Unfortunately, gets hit. Capping getting hit by the 2k right there. Amato getting the corner positioning, goes for the fake for the insta for the for the low. Very brave uh, attempt from Caffeine to get out of the corner right there. Managed to get the, the hit with the 2 HS2, the counter hit too. But unfortunately wasn't quite a good, able to get the juggle and Amato took this opportunity to steal the kill for this uh, third match. Amato taking the lead. I tried playing with him. Uh, ping wasn't that good. Yeah, yeah. The ping is uh, for me, it's passable, but I think that you, Snoozy, you're in, uh, where are you again? You're in, uh, you're not in Russia, are you? I think you're in Russia, right? If I'm correct? Or, yeah, I, I think if you're in Russia, but you, you'll correct me if I'm wrong anyways, but... Yeah, you're in Russia, so Russia to Singapore might be a little bit of a stretch, I guess. Have you got any tips to get better using controller? Wow, I don't use controller, so... <laughs> That's, you're, I'm probably not the best uh, person to who you, you should ask, but uh, I do, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, um, Tiger Pop plays with the controller, if I'm not mistaken, I might very well be mistaken, so um, you should, if you want to ask somebody like a very uh, execution, execution heavy character uh, player, an execution uh, heavy character that is played by a player with a controller, you should probably ask Tiger Pop. He's probably more... Uh, I think he plays with the controller. Uh, but if he does, yeah, you should definitely ask him, because because uh, he plays, like, probably the hardest character to play in the, in the game uh, with the controller, so, yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, I play on Hitbox, so I play on the, easy, the easiest medium right now, unfortunately. 
Uh, that being said, here we go with... Oh, the grab attempt from Amato. I didn't... That was probably um, an input error, I suppose. That being said, here we go with Caffeine, trying to get as many minions on the floor as possible. Good evening, this past Saturday. Another AWT, yeah. Uh, artwork system event is in the books, although uh, artwork system decision regarding the uh, World Tour final spot is somehow questionable. What was their final decision? I, I didn't quite... Um, I didn't quite follow their uh, decision making when it came to the to the um, to the tour finals though. Yeah, sure, you de should definitely ask him out. Uh, he's uh he's very easy to talk to too, very open, you know. So if it, perhaps you can first start to to ask him what's his button layout. That might be a good start, I guess. And then what? How does he actually like hold his? What type of controller he uses? How he holds it? What not? Also, been a while since I stopped by there. Yeah, indeed, it's been a while with Bell. It's always a pleasure to have you over, man. Much appreciated. And here we go with... Oh, Lord! Ah, the big overhead right there, but nice block from Cappy. And unfortunately, friend gets hit by the uh, overhead uh, syringe. A nice standing HK, but unfortunately drops it, but does get the guard point. And Cappy going with the Roman cancel to try to extend uh, the pressure. Ooh, nice for S with the confirmed straight into the Wild Assault and Mimato eliminate. On to the next the battle. Ah, one second. Ah, yeah, I'm, better. I'm better. Okay. So, uh, Tempest won against TY, yet he already. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, see what you mean. I was like, why wasn't that spot just simply a ghost to the runner up? I think they're still. Aren't they, like, discussing whether or not it should be the case right now? Our system works? Because I, I thought I read somewhere that they were actually, like, trying to see uh, some, some sort of an alternative for it. I think they, 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 they were discussing it, actually. I don't know exactly what's gonna come out of it, but I think they're not gonna give the spot to the runner-up, but they're gonna use like a point system and see if they can like bring somebody else in additionally. So I, I don't really know how it's gonna work, but it's not like it's the, the spot is not gone forever, I think. Don't quote me on this though, but I, I think it's not gone forever. And here we go with the uh, match. Oh, and Tim Coco in front of the... Oh, Lord, the over... The, the, the option select, man. This option select has been working so much for Tim Coco. Very good. I have so many highlights today. <laughs> I have so many highlights. This is crazy. Oh, that was so crazy, man. Tim Coco with the freaking option selects, man. Good stuff. Okay, here we go with the wake up gold burst from Timco. Get the close S. Gonna get the juggle. Gonna get the other juggle. And the wall break into the Ventania. He's gonna do a ton of damage. Wow, look at the damage. So what's gonna be the wake up option? Yeah, <laughs> you can see Timco inputting that that uh, option select every single time he goes for a save, save jump. As he should, because Roy is very notorious for wake up backdashing or wake up DPing. So... It's a, it's a very good uh, contingency plan that Timco has currently. Ooh, nice with punish. Ooh, and got the kill, man. Good stuff from Timco. I actually manages to get the first kill. Guys, I need to go to the toilet. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Okay, sorry for the wait. Oh, good lord. Oh, you're back. Oh, yeah, you also have a, um, you also have a, uh, how do you call this? Uh, song request, uh, a song request option using the channel points. So you can really input whatever song you want. Well, as long as it's not, uh, copyrighted. So my advice for you, is, you guys, is if you want to use the, um, how it's called, the, uh, song request, please, uh, input inputs um songs from video games just like uh just like um just like what um Inkos, uh did right now very nice choice by the way the town inside of me from bridget bridget's theme in uh in stripe very nice follow up right there good lord yeah you have sr you do you do 
And here we go with the 2k right there from Roy. Not afraid to just run straight towards him and catch the bag dashes right there. Kaboom! Here we go with the wild assault. Hmm. And Roy with the corner pressure right there. Ooh, getting jumped on, unfortunately, for him. Here we go with the close S, man. Big damage incoming, but Roy does have the burst. Ooh, that was really close. Ooh, oh, Lord. Oh, and then we punish. That was sick. Good stuff. Remro should be able to get the kill. Yeah, definitely gonna get the kill. Or not, actually. Dad grabbed him. It's not over till it's over. Here we go with the same drop. Whoa! The 2S though. The second hit of the 2S catches Roy off guard. Timco up 2-0 to zero on the verge of eliminating Roy. That was sick stuff right there. Ah, uh, Roy must be hitting himself so hard right now. Damn. That was so unfortunate for him. Good lord. Yeah, let's see how this pans out. So, uh, one more chance for Roy to stay alive. If he loses this one, he is out of the tournament. Here we go with this jump. The space... Uh, the space jump. <laughs> the safe jump. The space jump. Nice grab from Timco. And here we go with the closest. Of course, this is a pretty bad situation for Roy. Ooh, no punish right there. He had the, the perfect parry, though. Got the perfect... Ooh, wow, the big dippy. And Timco knowing that Roy was gonna go for a DP. Bag dashes right away. Makes the DP whiff and gets the win accordingly. That was sick play from Tim knowing the tendencies of Roy. That was sick stuff. And here we go with Tim, man, looking very good. Oh, nope, nobody home. And here we go with Tim getting hit countered, though. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage, look at the damage, look at the damage, look at the damage. I think you could have killed if you went with the DP options now. Break me five around. Oh, nice grab! Then Roy went for DP, by the way. Who goes for the cross up? Here we go, the 2D. Ooh, the big six speed! And the freaking 4S. I guarantee you, Roy is gonna go for revolver. Or not. Okay. Oh, big! That's not it! Yo! And Timco going for the aerial overdrive, not giving the chance to Roy to pop the burst whatsoever. Timco eliminated. I thought that aerial super was... Ah, Tiger New... Nah, nah, it wasn't. He was way too high. I think there's a... Um, he was way too high. But then again, the, the height requirement for the super is pretty high, I think. Not that I'm a Giovanna specialist or whatnot. Exxon can confirm, perhaps, but I think it's pretty high, the, the height requirement for it. So I don't think you can Tiger New it. Or if you do it, it's like not really useful because might as well just do it the regular way. It's less of a hassle, I guess. I really don't know. But anyways, here we go with the jump in by Moron, dealing that uh, counter hit. It's gonna get a ton of damage, look at that. Good lord. Holy freaking lord. Let's see what's the mix. Gonna go for a fuzzy. Ah, this time tries to, yeah, catch Hagera. Uh, uh, blocking low, but Hagera again. This is the second, I don't know, the first time that he played against a Jackal was against Caffeine. And Caffeine also knew that uh, Moron was gonna go for the fuzzy. So yeah, both uh, Hagera and Caffeine knowing the tendencies of Moron, apparently. That being said, here we go, the wild assault and the grab. Moron, ooh, catching the back dash, but does not convert. This is so unfortunate. And here we go with the grab from Hagera, gets the side switch. He's gonna get the pressure as well. Catches Hagera one too many times, step, uh, to standing, uh, standing up. We go with the Elysian Driver, gonna deal that much needed hard knockdown with a deep positive bonus. Ooh, and using the freaking minion in order to catch that stun dipper, man. That was sick. Good stuff from Hagia. Getting on to the next round. So far, so good for Hagia. Definitely looking very strong today. Ah, Moron getting that. Ooh, jump in. But Hagia, man, checking that Fudra Dark correctly. Oh, man, again, the minion catching Moron on the backside. Ooh! Nice confirm from Hagara. It's not gonna be enough to kill. Nah, no, no, it's not. Hagara using the wild assault to secure that hard knockdown yet again. Oh, and catches the back dash with the standing H. As that being said, Moran immediately waking up with stun dip for catching Hagara off guard as well and using RC to get the side switch plus the wall splat. And ooh, unfortunate. Unfortunate for Moran. I got. I was on point when it came to sniffing out that grab attempt, back dashes and punishes accordingly. Let's see how this spins out. Again with the standing HK, definitely working in favor of, of uh, I got up. Uh, oh no! Almost got that juggle. That was a portrait for him. 
Marlon out of the corner, using the Wild Assault to get some more space. Going straight for the wall, Wild Assault, 40 guaranteed hard knockdown. Oh lord! Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. I got looking for that YRC man. Ooh! Nice grab from Maron. Uh, tried to go for the cross up. Instead, got an empty low, which worked out for him, by the way. Ah, stun dipper! Ah! I get up finally for spot the burst. Confident that he can take the rest of the round if he gets the corner positioning. Ah! Finally, Maron also popping that burst. Big 6P right into the follow up of the minion for the kill. That was sick stuff from both. Ah! And here we go with Hagiala getting the juggle. Gotta get the wall break. Ooh! Ah, <laughs> lord, that a bar, though. Okay, good stuff from Hagara. Ah, uh, Hagara gonna get the wall break. Oof! Maron going straight for that. DP getting hit by the 6P of Hagara again with the wake up stun dipper. Definitely catching Hagara off guard. No checks right there on the Fudra Dark. Again, the Fudra Dark. Ah, nice 6 speed. And unfortunately for Moran, gets caught by the 2k of Agata. Agata up 2-0. to zero. What is Moran going to do? Let's see how this turns out. Nice jump in right there from Agata. This one's a king guy. And I gotta getting the kill with the six B. I gotta actually on match point. Let's see if he can seal the deal. We shall see. With the close up pressure from Hagana. Ah, good lord. Ah, man, that freaking air to air in favor of Moron, man. Moron going for the safe jumps. Goes for the grab. Oh, no, forcing Hagana to pop the burst. Oh, big 6P right there for Moron. Gets the juggle straight into the Sacred Age. Sacred Edge. Uh, tried to catch the bad dash, but yeah, I get up. Uh, remain on face, but got hit by the Thunderper. Finally, Maron showing some teeth now. Let's see if he can manage to keep it going. Ah, big deep. Oh no, you hate to see it. Big right the lightning right there from Marone. Finally puts one on the board. Good stuff from Marone. Finally puts one on the board, eh? Good stuff, good stuff. Okie dokie, and here we go with the onslaughts. I get a managing to put. To, uh, to get one grab in the block strings right there, forcing Moron to pop the burst. Woo! Moron catching that bag dash though, but landing straight on Hagara's 6 speed. And here we go with the pressure, the ongoing pressure. Woohoo! Initium driver! <laughs> Good stuff from uh, from Hagara. Hagara again on match point. Is this going to work? Is this going to uh, be enough for them? We shall see.
Ooh. Ah, big counter hit right there from Moran. He's gonna get the wall break. Okay, here we go with the standing HK. HS, sorry, HK. <laughs> okay, and back to the uh, minion zoning. Big forest counter hit from Moran again, saving that freaking match that match point man is Maroon gonna make a comeback that would be sick though i'm not gonna lie here we go with the corner ah the corner the corner pressure but i get out managed to make it out almost got hit right there Ooh, again with the six speed huh nice trade in favor of yeah he still has other minions on deck yeah you can see Maroon trying to hit hagara with the yeah with the with the stun edge. Nice. Ah! Oh, almost got the jump and you hate to see it. Here we go, the stun edge. Goes for the forest. Oh, hits Hagera on block. Which means that, oh, again with the 6p, man. Hagera is one point with the 6p. Ooh, almost got the jump in. Here we go with the, ooh, no. Not your turn yet. Hagera looking pretty good. Oh, what the hell? That was sick. Ah, uh, you could see Amaron trying to bait that burst, man. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bad. If, yeah, if Agata has... Ah, uh, yeah, has the hit. It's pretty much over. Ooh. Ah, uh, man, Agata looking for blood and finding it. Finally. Agata making his way to... Okie dokie, breads and cooking. Here we go. We're good to go. Amato versus Temple. Let's see how this fans up. Okay, so Temple going for the grab. Gonna get the corner positioning as well. Double grab. Goes for the safe jump. Ooh, and he goes for the instant overhead. This is so dirty. This is so dirty, Tim. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, Timco definitely knows his matchups, and it should do good stuff from Tim. Takes the first, uh, the first round. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, Timco with the standing H, the standing P. Goes for the 2D. Unfortunately, too far to catch the back dash from Amato. Oh Lord! Here we go to 2S, and Little Faust is out to play. Oh no! Oh, the conversion station though. That would have been sick. Amato catching Timko off guard, forcing him to pop the burst. And here we go with the, uh, the command grab. Ooh, he tried to light that wig on, but twice it whiffed. That was so unfortunate for him. And here we go. The, the wig is on fire. Finally. But nice blocks from Timko. Almost got mixed right there. Timko with the jump in. Ooh, big Nasante. Big damage. No, he drops it. And Amato takes his opportunity to run straight up and get the grab for the kill. Good stuff. One round apiece. Definitely not going just one side. Let's see who's going to take it all. Oh, Lord. Big Sepultura counter hit right there. And a big incoming uh, combo. No hard knockdown, though. Oh, big 6P. Yo. <laughs> Tim finally forcing Amato to pop the... Ooh, that was an unfortunately timed <laughs> yellow Roman cancel. Almost got the, the juggle with the bomb also, that would've been sick. Okay, here we go with Tim. Ooh, Tim tried to backdash one too many times and Amato uh, no, uh, actually realizing it and going for the teleportation. Ooh, the little fouts are here to play, the cavalry that is. But Tim, look at the optimization station. Should be able to get the wall break. Yeah, he definitely will. Goes for the hard knockdown. One more opening is enough to get the kit. And the motto, unfortunately for him, didn't believe in his uh, in his super. Should have let it rip. He probably should, he probably would have uh, caught uh, Timko on his recovery frames. Probably, maybe. I'm not quite sure, but good stuff from Timko takes the first round, the first map. Again, Timko forcing him out to pop the burst. Ooh. Oh, big Nasante right there from Timko. A wee too far, a wee bit too far to get the. Get the juggle though. Ah, Lord. Here we go with Timko. Getting hit by the weight. 
Okay, good stuff from Amato. He does have the cavalry to have guaranteed pressure. Ah, try to go for the grab, but Simko forcefully, forcefully pops the burst, goes for the tab dust. Good lord. Ah, this is going to do a lot of damage. We go with the wild assault for a hard knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. And yeah, you have to hold it. Stagger pressure for the kill. Good stuff from Tim. Takes the first round of the second match as well. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, big closest counter hit. Tim cool with the conversion and the... Uh, uh oh, back to the neutral. Again with the spears. Timko with the bar is though. Holy freaking lord gets caught. Trying to stand up though. He's gonna do a lot of damage though. Ooh. Oh, almost got the juggle again. Ooh, and here we go. This should be enough to kill. Yeah, going straight into the overdrive just to be sure. Gonna get the kill. Good stuff. Timko up 2-0. to zero. See if he can seal the deal. Very nice confirms for uh, for Timko, by the way. Okay, and here we go. On to the potential final match of this encounter. Ooh! <laughs> yes, indeed. Amato can... Uh, well, actually, Faust can low-profile the, um, the Trovao using the Crawl. And he can actually low-profile most of... Uh, most of Giovanna's kit. He can uh, low profile the Puente, he can low profile the the Sepultura as well. Uh, with the with the crawl specifically. Ah and this time around Amato going for yeah going for the full animation of the overdrive. Unfortunately gonna get blocked by Tim. And punished. Full punished with a kill right at the end. Timko on match point. Let's see if Amato can bring it back, we shall see. Night juggles from Tim. Tim looking very good, forcing the, the burst from Amato. Gonna get that wall break. Straight into the fully charged dust. Ah, man, and this looks like a wrap. Yeah, Timko. Oh, Timko actually oh, dropping it, but still gets the kill with the grab right at the end. 3 to 0 for Tim. After this one, you only have the grand final left. These are the hottest games, supposedly, for tonight. But we did have a lot of very hot games tonight, I'm not gonna lie. It was <laughs> good, Yamato-san. I'm going to win today, I'm going to win today. It's really good. And here we go with the juggle and Timko with the side switch or big side switch. Good lord, what are these combos? Stop it! Stop it! Timko, stop it! <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff from Timko, gonna go with the... Ooh, lord! Gonna went for the what I thought was a safe jump, but Maron said no apparently. Uh Maron trying to bait that YRC though, but yeah, Timko not biting. Ooh, and a big DP punish right there from Timko. Holy freaking lord. Good stuff from Tim. Let's see if he can continue it. Oh good luck. Here we go with the grab from Maron. Gonna go for the uh, cross-up actually. Here we go. Ooh, and this time around Maron just backing uh Ah, this is your guy, Sima Samato san. Otsukaisanashita. Here we go. Ooh, big Travao right here from Tim. Gets it by the 6P though. Ah, and here we go with the fuzzy. Or not. Big close S counter hit. Tim, oh, tried to go for the Travao, but a wee bit too far. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you can see uh, Maron trying to look for them YRCs. Ah, big. Oh! Just let it rip! Nope. Uh, okay, Timko gonna go for the safe jump. No! And big far S counter hit right there for Maroon. Okay, one round apiece. Who's gonna take the first match? Oof. Nice combos right there from Tim. Gonna get the wall break and the positive bonus. Two for one. Ah, man, that fake out from Tim, man, that worked so good. Big 6P, but nice. Oh, no, no, sound saves there, sir. Oh, that close says, though. The Maron out for blood. Was for the tick pressure. Ah, uh, but yeah, Tim, not 
not uh, converting with the the Trovao red with the with the Sepultura red after his uh, three jabs. This is unfortunate. Geo gameplay always a delight to see. Ah man, I love seeing uh, Geo play, man. I totally agree with you, man. Roman canceled the cause of and solution to all of life's problem. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, good stuff from Moron, not getting hit by the Nasante. Ooh, Lord, it's going down to the wire! Oh! This is sick! That was so sick! Holy freaking Lord! And Tim Co coming out on top! Holy freaking Lord, clutching it out with the overdrive right at the end, forcing Moron to just block and not get chipped out, and catching him off guard with the Travao with four chip damage. That was really good stuff from Tim. Good Lord. Nice decision making right there. That was super smart, yeah. That was extremely good decision making right here. And here we go with the Travao. Very nice grab from Tim. Gonna go for the save jump. Actually, no. Went for the for the delayed uh, overhead. And here we go with the Fudra Dark. Tim in the corner. Very nice grab from Maron. Ah, oh, Lord. Went for the counter. He got the counter, but couldn't quite convert though. Not convert, but confirm. And finally, Maron. Finally, getting the first round of the second match. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, big 2D counter hit though. Tim with the juggles. And you're going in the corner, sir. Yeah, you're not going out of it. Good stuff from Tim. Let's see what's going to happen. Big 4S right there. From Maron, going to get the wall break. What song is that? That's a pretty nice song, I like it. Thunder Force. Oh, okay. That's a pretty sweet song, though. And here we go with the wall break. Very nicely done. Finally, Maroon puts one on the board. Remember, Geo deserves these conversion combos. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I think it's, uh, I think it's okay, honestly. Geo is is really strong, I think, but not. I, I don't feel like it's too overpowered. It's legit. Like I, I, I personally feel like it's okay. There are worse thing in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically my stand. I feel like there's worse thing in this game than than Geo's kit, personally. Anyways, here we go with the forest. Wow. And here we go with the punish on the birds. Very nicely done by Maroon. Was for the same jump. Mm. Very nice juggle and conversion for Moron. Gonna get the kill in the corner. Big six feet right there. Ah man, that was so sick, man. Using the uh, standing K as a media and then the uh, the close S as a frame trap for a counter hit. That was really nicely done by Moron. And here we go with oh with Tim, man. Definitely not letting it up. Gonna go for the wildest arc for. Um, Hold on, <laughs> I didn't sign off on Happy Savior Slander, okay, <laughs> no worries, no worries. Good, so man, the double uh, DP punish right there for Timco, very nice. Getting good good read on the tendencies of Moron. Ah, uh, try, yeah, trying to make him bait the DP, huh? Here we go with the- Ooh, again with the DP punish! Good lord, Tim has been 10 on 10 when it came to punishing the DP from, uh, from Moron right now. Uh, again, again, again. Nope, no DP. Wow, nice whip punish though from Tim, man. On point, gonna get the Ventania. Boom! What is gonna be the kill? What is gonna be the mix? And here we go, the safe jump. Ah, no, nah, man, that was sick. Good stuff. Careful there, careful there. Ah, nice full assist for the kill entire. And Tinko takes the lead, 2 to 1. What is Marone going to do? What is Marone going to do? We shall see. Marone fight though. Here we go with the close-up pressure. Nice grab from Marone. Going to go for the jump in. Yeah, trying to catch Timco pressing some buttons right there. Nice grab from Marone. Going to go for the delayed overhead. Oh, Lord. That was almost a punish. With a fully charged dust. Into a pretty nice combo. Good 
Big wall break right there for Tim. I tried to go for a grab, but no one's home. And Ervon punishing the punish attempt from Tim. Should be able to take it. Good stuff. Good stuff from Mirage. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, that far is though. Woo! This is going to do a lot of damage though. Okay, Mirage. Ah! Here we go with the ah uh, the Ventania, not the Ventania, the the Nasante. Straight into wall splat, into wall break. With the jump in and Tim getting that closest counter hit and getting the kill. Timco on match point one round away from going to the grand final. He sometimes uh does uh he sometimes does wall break with the uh with uh, the Wild Assault though. He does, he does. <clears throat> and here we go, but yeah, usually it's probably with a, a simple move or whatnot. Ah, Blitz. Oh, okay, he said Blitz. My bad. No. For me, it was Wild Assault. Yeah, I, I didn't quite understand what you meant by Blitz. Now I see, yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, he does, he does. Yeah. He do it with Wild Assault or uh, normal. He only does it with a super if he can kill. Because I think he wants the Okizeme with the... And the Roman cancel bit capabilities with the tangent block, I think. And that being said, man, Tim Hagiata versus Timko. Actually, Hagiata is the one who sent Timko in the loser's bracket, if I'm correct. Let me double check the bracket, but I am pretty sure it's the case. So, uh, Timko was sent in the loser's bracket by... Oh, actually, no, by Caffeine. So, another Jacko. So, this is pre probably not a very, very good uh, good situation for, for Timko. But then... Then again, uh, Caffeine and Hagiata have very two different styles of play. So uh, let's see if uh, this style of play is more compatible with Timko's. So we'll see how this pans out. Anyways, that being said, Timko already forced a block in the corner. He does have the, the life um, advantage, but that being said, doesn't mean Jack in the corner against Jacko. And uh, no puns intended, by the way. Um, that being said, here we go back to the neutral. Nice stuff from Timko. Should be able to get a nice conversion. Not enough to kill though. Oh, he might have had it been enough to kill if he uh, did the Ventania instead. But nice with punish right there from Timko. Managed to get the kill. He gets the first round. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the second round. Timko going for the Trovao, trying to get through them pesky, pesky minions. Oh, gets the jump in though. Oh, and the. Big standing H hit counter hit. This is gonna do a ton of damage. Good lord, look at the damage! He gets the wall break with the wild assault. And here we go back to the neutral and Tim getting the hit. Should be enough to kill with uh, the uh with the Ventania, yeah. And here we go. Finally using the Ventania for the kill. First match goes to Timco. Timco on fire, man. Today, what the hell is going on? <laughs> good lord. If Timko takes it today, it's gonna be pretty well. Not gonna lie. Good stuff, good stuff. He's been killing left and he's been killing like killers left and right. So yeah, good stuff from uh from Timko so far. Trying to survive from the loser's bracket. Ah, gets open low though. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Gets hit by the 6H. Uh not hit on block at least. But the 6 uh, HK. And here we go with ah the ah, the playoff kick of Jacko. Oh lord! Catching Hayala trying to take the throws right there. Got in losers at the beginning, that's an evil run he does. Yeah, exactly. And look at that, he's bringing it back too. Damn. Good stuff from, uh, from Timco, man. One round away from uh, taking two matches in a row. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord. Ah, nice pressure from Hagera. Gonna go straight for the Elysian driver. Elysian driver. Good stuff from Tim. Hagera going straight for the kill. Gonna get the whip punish using the 2K 2D and getting the kill with the juggle with a perfect, nevertheless. Thank you for the follow, Zagastian. Welcome to the Brojo. And on to the next round. We have run round a piece. Very nice. Uh, shimmy right there from Tim. Gonna get a ton of damage. Good lord. Mm -hmm. 
And just like this, taking a perfect of his own. Hello, motherfucker. Himko on, on, on fire. That's all I can say. Holy freaking lord. Hello, sir. Yeah. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, sorry for the way. Damn, Timko on the verge of getting that, that freaking bracket reset. Are you serious? Good lord. Yeah, Timko playing very, very good today. What the hell is going on? Okay, here we go with Timko, man. Oh, getting the 2D, man. The 2D with punish. Ah, not getting the entire goal, unfortunately for him. Here we go with the corner pressure. Ooh, almost got the cross under. That would have been sick. Ah, yeah. And unfortunately, the use right there of the uh, the wild reversal, though. Ah, nice. Tap dust right there from Hagata going straight into the Illusion Driver. For the kill? Yeah, for the kill, yeah. Okay, Hagata not out of this yet. Does not want to reset, obviously. But yeah, him on the verge of actually getting a reset. Big standing HS counter hit. This did a ton of damage. Oh, goes for the grab. Tim looking very good right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tout est fini entre nous. Here we go. With the wall break. And the reset has been made. Timko sending Hagiara in the... Let's see how this spins out. Is Timko going to manage to do it or not? We shall see. Very nice with punish again from Timko. Getting the juggle as well. Good lord! Ah, Tim, go with the wild assault gun to secure that hard knockdown. Ah, almost got, yeah, Hagera to open up. Ooh, almost got the whip punish on the standing HK as well. well let's see how this spins out. Ooh, the raw sip in time. Yeah, man, this should kill, actually, if, if I... Oh, no! That was such an unfortunate, such an unfortunate burst attempt by Hagera right there. Good lord. How get out with the hero burst though? Ah. And Tim looking very strong, man. Being overwhelming, if I might say. Good lord. No entire right there from Tim. How get up? Finding this opportunity to finally get something going. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, nice cross up right there from Tim. Goes for the wild assault. Catching. How get up? Pressing buttons and going straight into the Ventana for the. for almost a kill. Now this spins out, goes for the- oh no, no, oh lord, Tamco taking the lead, good lord, straight, four straight games in a row for Tamco right now, I got definitely feeling the heat, what is gonna happen, we shall see, and here we go with the burst from Tim, from Hagara. Oh, good lord, that pulls his counter hit, though. And Tim managing to get that wall break. Here we go with the safe jump. And Tim, man. Oh, getting the juggle. No, didn't get the kill, though, but still gets the kill with the 2S. Damn. Tim is on fire. What the hell is going on? What did he eat? What did you eat, Tim? Tell me right now. <laughs> that was sick, yo. Not over till it's over though, but it's definitely looking very bad for Hagera, not going to lie. Good lord. Okay, Hagera finally getting something going on. What is happening? Here we go, the Illusion Driver. Finally, Hagera putting one round on the board. With a perfect, as well. 
Okay, Hagata just needs one more in order to get, yeah, the momentum a little bit. He needs a momentum shift right now. It's definitely not working in his favor. Okay, Hagata making a little bit more use of the, uh, oh, nice aerial grab from Tim. Goes for the meaty, ah, the meaty Trabal. Look at the damage. Ah, this is looking pretty bad. Nice stick right there from Hagata. Hagata sticking to... No, Timko sticking to Hagata like glue, man. Okay, finally forcing him to pop the burst. And here we go with the kill. Timko, 2-0. Five straight wins in a row. Good lord. Is Timko going to do a 6-0 to zero to Hagata? That is crazy. Here we go to jump in. Nice. Nice. Nice patience from Tim, man. That was sick. Tim, here we go. Okay, finally. The minions are out. Nico's gonna have to hold it. Uh, no way punish right there from uh, Hagara. Go straight into the Elysian Driver. Driver! Tim could definitely feeling himself, man. Good lord. Okay, here we go to close up pressure. Timko with the grab! It's your turn! Wow, that Puente though! He tried to bait the burst! Nah, no 6p though! Ah, da, da. Yeah, 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 Timko deciding to keep his burst for the next round. And rightfully so. Okay. Timko getting clipped by the 2k 2d though. Oh, big 6p right there from Hagata. Beautiful 6p, by the way. To punish the uh, Travalo attempt. Yeah, Hagata looking a lot more alive right now. Being a lot more patient. Doesn't want to overextend. Just content to, like, yeah. Put his game on and just wait for Timko to actually react. Oh, big 2D. Oh, he's going to get the juggle as well. Nice grab right there from Tim. Not out of this yet. Goes for the cross up. Oh, what the hell happened? Both do not really knowing what the hell was going on. Ah, yeah. That is a guaranteed setup to get the minions on deck. Timko not out. Timko not out, though. Still alive. Wow, so brave. Oh, Timko gonna get the full combo. Oh, no. Oh, and the grab. You should be able to get the kill if he doesn't drop it. Ooh, ooh. I thought he was gonna drop it. Tim on a tournament point. On tournament point with... Possibly six wins in a row in grand final. We shall see. Good. Oh, yeah. Tim does have like the matchup knowledge because he fights against Arania, who is a very strong Taiwan uh, Jacko as well. So that's probably the reason why. Yeah, that, that might explain a lot. But he did lose 3 0 against Caffeine, who is also a uh, Jacko player today. So, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps uh, Hagara has a closer matchup. Uh, like a uh, closer gameplay to Arania Ar 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 than uh, than Caffeine, I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it shows, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that being said, look at the blocks, man. Holy freaking Lord. Tim has been blocking for the past fucking freaking five minutes, man. A nice air grab, man. Oh yeah, definitely looking for this, man. Nice grab again. And not over till it's over. Oh. And here's the kill. Finally, how you gotta putting one on the board? Finally, okay. It's the start. It's the start. Good lord. Okay, one to two. Saving that tournament point right there. Ayala looking to try to find new avenues in which uh, imposing his gameplay and possibly securing the win. We shall see. There we go with the close up pressure. Damn. Ah, popping the burst. Getting hit though, unfortunately for him. Go the close up pressure. Hagia looking very, very alive right now. <laughs> yeah, just player style difference. Like, yeah, definitely. And that being said, Hagia is adapting right now, as you can see. Ooh, that was an unfortunate aerial grab attempt, though. Ah, Timko getting, yeah, trying to go for the cross up, but Hagia knowing this and just uh, backdashing and making everything with. Thank you for the follow, Kirim, and welcome to the Bro Jones. Oh lord. Tim. Ooh. Ah, getting clipped by the 5k though. Uh, the 5h. Forcing how you have to pop the burst though. And back in the corner you are. Ah. 
No way fun is right there. Ooh, okay. We are looking good. Nice aerial grab though from Haga. Good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, big 5 HK though. Uh, HS though. Almost got the wall splat though. And. Okay, Tim going for the grab. Goes for a regular save jump. Ah, a little bit too far to get it, but still gets the follow up sending cake. Straight into. No! Okay, no Ventania. I think it would have killed though. Oh, and the <laughs> yeah, over the uh, the the offensive, like good stuff from, good stuff from uh, from Timco. On tournament point yet again, is Hagara gonna be able to save it? We shall see. Nice freaking 2K right there from Hagara. Ah, uh, Hagara getting that wall break with a lot of damage. By the way, look at that. Here we go to close up pressure. I got a train to fake out from the dust into a 2k using the RC and yeah just going for throw loops for the kill we are going on to the next or to the last match ladies and gentlemen the one who wins the following match wins the whole tournament are we going on to the last round of the last match we shall see good lord that is a crazy grand final not gonna lie nice standing to get to uh to carry there from Tinko, forcing Hagera to pop the burst nice standing HS as well Ah, uh, no, too far to get anything going. Oh, wow, using the 2k to low profile the Trovao attempt and punishing accordingly with a grab, getting the side switch in uh, the process and also following up with the overdrive for a guaranteed hard knockdown. See how this spins out? Wow, nice take right there for the uh, arrow throw from Timco. Timco with the, the freaking... Oh, did it work? It did! Tim Cole going for the extension station. Does he get... Yeah, does he have his, his uh, combos down? He did! Wow, what was that? The raw... What, what the hell happened? That raw wild assault was so crazy. But Tim Cole double diving himself. Knowing that um, Hagata had two bars of tension. He was afraid of the wake up overdrive. Didn't commit to... Uh, to pressuring Hagela on wake up and Hagela knowing this uh, just just woke up really really simply and just went for the kill man that was so unfortunate let's go for the grab Tim getting the grab goes for the safe jump goes for the grab again uh, I tried to get for yeah tried to go for a shimmy oh wow ah uh, this is a bad situation for Tim oh here we go the Nasante and the oh the incendor head they should be able to kill if yeah ventania yes it is we're going on we're going on to the last round of the last match this is tournament point ladies and gentlemen who is going to take it we shall see nice grab from tim let's go for the uh safe jump oh okay a little bit delayed right there from hagera he could have been able to low profile the uh the trovao attempt and it's the time for hagera to bring the heat who is gonna take it? Ah, Tim Co trying to double. The Ooh, that was a big counter hit right there from uh, Tim. Should be able to get the Ventania. Oh, yes, this time around goes for the Ventania for guaranteed knockdown. For guaranteed um, hard knockdown. It's gonna be the Okizeme. Goes for a uh, safe jump. It's definitely not over till it's over. Tim Co binding his time. Oh, the Amari though, and this should do. Oh, here we go with the Wild Assault. One more hit for Tim and he should be able to take it. What is... Oh, the grab. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. Hagiara in the corner. Hagiara with the double grab. Uh, you hit this hit. Don't do... No. It's not over. Good Lord. Oh, it's going down to the wire. Going down to the wire. And the double stagger with the 2K. And Hagiara nails it out. Good Lord.